This is courtesy of Outlander magazine on Twitter. It's featuring the Jack Moose and Nike collaboration, which I think is absolutely trider, 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 trash. I think it's absolutely trash. Firstly, because it doesn't make any sense why Jack Moose at this stage of their career would be concentrating on doing a Nike collaboration. Secondly, I think it's proof that the brand is on life support and the Jack Moose that we knew previously, the one that made effervescent, almost magical, um, otherworldly clothes in a very simple and elegant way that sort of purported to represent and to showcase a particular type of woman a particular type of French lady let's say has now gone completely to shit to the point where they're having to struggle to for relevancy by doing a collaboration with Nike on shoes that don't even look like something a Jack Moose girl would actually wear and if you're thinking I'm absolutely lying let's actually go and say Jack Moose is it? Hey, so is it Jack, Jack Moose? Jack, Jack Moose, right? There we go. Let's go Vogue Runway. Let's actually look at some of the older pieces of Jack Moose collection from the previous collections, what I think were way better than the stuff that he's doing nowadays, so that we can see quite clearly that this brand has changed fundamentally in the last few years to the point where it's unrecognizable. And the reason why I keep talking and rabbiting on about it is because I'm not someone that sort of like, you know, waves a black cloud around and gets on my soapbox about that kind of stuff. But I think fashion is really annoying, especially nowadays when it comes to streetwear. There's a real big disregard to streetwear's influence on fashion, especially men's fashion. There's a lack of respect put on streetwear's name in terms of being legitimately one of the main reasons why people actually give a shit about fashion shows still nowadays. And it's kind of seen as this kind of pinnacle of, you know, achievement if you are involved in the clothing industry and all this sort of stuff and i feel like in general the underlying issues with it is that a lot of the people in fashion industry have a general disdain for the invasion it feels like of black and brown people into their hallowed little space and a way to kind of insult us and to kind of demean us and put us down without making us feel as if it's something racial is to talk about the return of tailoring talk about streetwear being dead and all these little i feel like dog whistles that kind of diminish the influence that streetwear and people from black and brown communities have had on fashion from day dot until right now and i feel like sometimes these designers also are judged really differently based mostly i think on their skin color on where they're from and of course which college they did or did not go to and it's no surprise that someone like a jack moose who looks the way he does and is from the place he's from is able to get away with putting out mediocre after mediocre collection especially considering the bar that he came in with he came in on a high bar he came in with flipping horses on his runway right rep like actual look look at these pieces here from 2015 only right and it's gone to complete shit over the years to the collections from 2022 all the way to maybe 20 where they go to shit i would say from the my eye looking i'd say 20 yeah 2022 to maybe 2019 when they went to shit or maybe 20 yeah 2019 but you look at this collection here from 2019 this one right um and you look at this one here 2018 i think that's the one with the big hat this really pales into comparison to what jack moose is doing at the moment but for whatever reason he doesn't get the same level of hate that someone like a god bless the dead virgil abloh was getting with his collection or even kanye when he launched his first collection so for some reason some designers get you know, the blind some people turn a blind eye they bury their head in the sand when their stuff isn't as great but this stuff from jack moose in 2019 was legitimately beautiful objectively great objectively talking about something interesting the casting the the fabrication the materials the cuts the shapes the silhouettes the designs everything about it was just really expertly and beautifully done you can't deny it that this doesn't look great even to a, an, an, an untrained die you can tell this is absolutely starling work from a designer coming up in the industry then you look back at this collection here that i've just focused on and um, i pulled out of my ass which is which one um which is spring 2018 again absolutely paled into comparison what he's doing nowadays with his brand but absolutely wonderful i think i think if i'm not mistaken yeah, this is what the collection with the big hat um 2018 that absolutely dominated social media for maybe a couple of years after the fact when it was out yeah it was absolutely everywhere every single editorial had it. i think remember it was that famous editorial of no Naomi campbell completely naked just wearing a hat you know on the floor and it's amazing pose amazing 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 stuff yeah great great work then you look at the stuff that he does recently and it's terrible 
it legitimately is no better than something that you'd find in Koz, in Zara and shit. It's just garbage. And a good, a clear example of this garbage is definitely this Nike collaboration coming up because it makes absolutely no sense for the brand because you would imagine there is nothing about the Jack Moose girl or guy that would tell you that they're into hiking. Zero. It's all beach wear. It's all field wear. It's all in town wear. It's all opulence, decadence in a very subtle, minimal, kind of effervescent way. But you would never say it's giving hiking. There's nothing about this that gives hiking at all. Zero. Zero. I would go as far as saying there's no one in this runway collection, maybe apart from this dude, who looks like they could do a pull-up. <laughs> do you know what I mean? So what is all this hiking nonsense about? But again, the, the brand's gone to complete shit. And a clear example of that, I think, is this Nike collaboration. They're on life support and they're having to pull out these collabs and make no sense. They've got a Lahar that they're collaborating on and this looks like a Nike 3.50. You know those shoes everyone was wearing back in the day? All done in leather, like with no lining. Absolutely butters. Butters, 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 butters. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Of course, they'll probably end up doing pretty well because it's a design and collaboration, but this is proof to me that it's on life support. It's also interesting to see the lack of kickback that's coming against the brand, considering who's head heading it and whatnot. But I think it is absolutely garbage. I don't get why you design these shoes for a person or a client who looks like this on the runway it makes absolutely no sense especially like i said considering jacquemus's roots and the woman or the client it used to represent look like this would this girl would this girl on look 513 of this jacquemus look would she want to wear these shoes really would she be into this this dress or skirt or whatever outfit this is with this back thing and the really cringy nike thing this looks like something sporty and rich would make. That's what it looks like. This looks very sporty and richest. And I don't mean that in a good way. Because that brand is garbage too. But look at that. Look how clever this was back in the day. That mini bag. The lovely dress. The great little necklace accessories. The amazing heels. The makeup and hair done really minimally. Like just gorgeous. The casting. Moi. Like, look at it. Absolutely incredible. The kind of French woman it represents. Because I think he always says it represents like the French ladies that he grew up around amongst him and his mom, right? Like this kind of wistful vision that he had of these matriarchs all surrounding him. And this is kind of his way of honoring them on the runway and empowerment, the bloody blah, 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 blah. Does this give you empowerment? Or does this give you some girl going to a fucking Pilates class with tights and white socks on carrying a flipping water flask? This is terrible, man. Absolutely terrible. All absolutely garbage. And um, yeah, it's just interesting to see the lack of uh, pushback against this because, of course, Jack Moose is somebody people actually rate as opposed to the black designers who people don't respect because they're black or because they make skatewear or streetwear. It's absolutely deplorable. Absolutely deplorable. It's got a tattoo right there, isn't it? It's absolutely cool. I feel gorgeous. Like, come on, man. He's fallen off by his own regard. He's fallen off. There's no way we cannot say he's fallen off. But yeah, maybe I don't know anything. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. And if you disagree with me, I'd love to hear your opinions on it regarding this.